This is typical of the terrain on the North German plain, fairly short on vegetation, with its network of small villages, each with excellent views over the flat countryside over which armour can so effectively be employed. But even here, there are small isolated woods to be found, perched on barely noticeable rising ground, which makes them attractive for defensive operations because of the cover they provide. And, like the villages, the quality of the views they command over the open ground. But here these woods are small and obvious places to hide. It's not until we move south and east, away from the Hanoverian plain, however, that we find the more extensive and typical German forested areas whose characteristics need special study if they are to be used for tactical advantage in war. These forests are invariably found covering hill features and consist mainly of beech trees in varying stages of maturity. Some of the forests are mixed. These features themselves again command spectacular views out across the open ground. Access into and through these woods is generally accomplished on good motorable tracks, which are generally marked accurately on maps like this. Inside these woods, movement off the tracks on foot is easy, but mobility depends on the density of the trees as to whether you can infiltrate through with vehicles. Mature trees close together do provide obstacles to track vehicles, but young saplings, on the other hand, do not. Visibility in the beech woods is often quite good Therefore, ambushes can be laid on clearings and tracks without having to shoot at too close a range. In some places, ambushes can be laid from across valleys and re-entrance onto tracks that follow the contours of the ground. These beech woods, of course, provide good cover from the air at the appropriate time of year. But in winter, it's a different story when the top cover, having fallen off, movement below the trees is easily spotted, both from the air and from the ground. One other point to remember is that your map doesn't necessarily give you an accurate check on the cover available in the woods. This area shows no clearings, but on the same area of ground, you see that in fact, there are open areas of ground. Not all German forests are of beech. Here in the Hartz Mountains, most of the mountainsides are covered in thick fir trees. Although there are main roads and tracks through this area, progress off these routes becomes virtually impossible for vehicles, except along rides and fire breaks. But then these become impassable, where the steepness of the slope becomes too great as well. But here there is never any shortage of cover in these fir woods, all the year round. We have seen how our tactics are adapted to this typical German wooded countryside found in the southern part of the British core area of responsibility. If we move north and east from here, we find something quite different. The relatively flat, open agricultural land that is the Hanoverian Plain. Here you will find an almost uniform network of small towns and villages. Anything between one and three kilometers apart, with good roads linking each with the other, as if to form a pattern on the map. Each village is generally visible from its neighbours across the gentle undulations of the ground. Because of the concealment and to some extent the protection these villages will afford, together with the good arcs of observation and fire available, these built-up areas will be a key factor in the defence of this region. Combat units will hold within the villages and reach out across the intervening ground with their weapons to provide interlocking fire support. Inside the villages, you'll find main roads through, 
and as you would expect, a network of side roads and side streets, and shady back alleys too. All these will pose problems when sighting the weapons available to you to cover both long and short arcs of fire. Similarly, the types of houses to be found will vary considerably, each offering advantages and disadvantages to the attacking or defending commander. Some houses will be quite large and substantially built, often farms actually within the village itself, large barns as well. Modern houses and the very old, some rather rickety, some much more solid. Remember, most German houses have cellars. They'll be tempting potential OPs as well, but nevertheless rather obvious. But whatever the attractions inside a village, one of the main tactical considerations will always be what can be seen and engaged from it.